Alright, Walt Disney and the Two Finger Conspiracy, the karmic drama of this is so funny. Um, they did the Two Finger to um, instruct people around the park or the full hand um, so that it wouldn't be a symbol that would be aggressive or offend people. That's why they do two fingers instead of the whole hand. When I worked at Home Depot, we also did that too. Um, it's just to instruct people around the store or the vicinity so that they can find what they need without being offensive. You know, some, some people don't like the finger, um, one finger. They don't like three fingers. They don't like four fingers. They like the two fingers. Because two fingers aren't really aggressive. Two fingers aren't really, like, you know, giving you any type of misconception about a situation. And you get your point across. Alright, so we have the Queen of Wands. We have Six of Cups. We have Two of Swords in Reverse. We have the Judgment card. We have the Justice card. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, we have the Hanged Man. Okay, we have the Five of Cups in Reverse. We have the Five of Wands in reverse. And then we have this one, which is the Page of Wands, I believe. And then we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. And we have the Five of Swords in reverse. So let's see what this is about. Okay, so we have Strong Business Mind. Um leadership qualities, um, ambition, courage, uh, an amateur lover, um, determination, friendship, joy, organization. We have reunite the past, getting a second chance, going back to something that you love, familiarity, birth of a child, happy memories, good memories, and healing. So for a lot of people, there could be some things going on there. Could also be the ghost of Disney that's visiting us. Um, an enemy you cannot beat. Arguments which go nowhere. Confusion, conflict, n no good choices. Worthy opponents. Uh, lesser of two evils. If acknowledging life's grace grants you the ability to celebrate your weakness and strengths, take each day as it comes, reassurance and encourage, encouragement is there in your life to represent the upcoming time of change in your altitudes and your talents. Okay, um... So there's a renewal of love, making adjustments in a relationship, the right choice, progression in a relationship, a reevaluation of a relationship, a financial, uh, financially stable marriage, tradition, relationship, couple, relationship milestones, security, engagement, family, family members, approval, and family life. Um... We have romantic efforts, rewarded compromise, treating uh, a partner fairly, behaviors in the past, relationship impacts the present one, karma, taking responsibility, cause and effect, love cannot be rushed, avoid romantic pressure, sacrifice for love, um, willing sacrifice, changing priorities, a new approach, meeting a new crowd, explore new romantic experiences. We have moving on from past relationships, healing from old wounds. We have avoiding conflicts, trying to keep the peace in a relationship, a resolution, running from uh, commitments, impatience, unstable relationship. Great hate, things moving too fast, an inability to uh, chase a dream, 
a cut or an accident, painful treatment, confusion, be, uh, brutality, or chaos. We have lost that forgiveness, losing out uh, to a competitor, lingering resentment, being beaten, uh, feeling like a failure, desire to reconcile or quit. We have an excellent number of success in your venture. Um, do not be too adventurous, though. Um, a gift will be offered to you that you will find impossible to refuse. A great concentration is called for to prevent you from losing um, a golden opportunity. Your nearest and dearest are likely to upset you soon. Keep your temper in check and all will go well. Your success will be greater than you um, anticipate. Put something away for a rainy day, though. Alright, so there is a message in there for somebody. Um, also, with all of this, um, it does give me like 1950s vibes or 1925s. <laughs> Um, I don't know. It just does. It feels very, like, olden days, like anything's possible. And I feel like for a lot of people, it feels like that right now for you, or it will be in the near future. So it's it's one of those things where you you see the possibilities, but you might not be able to act on them right away, or it might be slow going, okay? And you're just achieving very little at the moment, but it will turn into something bigger. All right. Uh, like Walt Disney, he was a failure and then he became very successful with his theme parks and his movies and his other stuff. You know, so that's good. Anyway, hopefully this helps somebody out. Gives you some type of perception on, on your day-to-day -day activities and what you're working towards. Um, you probably got <laughs> the voice of Walt Disney through... Um, with the Walt Disney two-finger conspiracy. Um, he didn't want to offend anybody, but I feel like he might have in the past, and then it became an issue. And then he became very successful very fast. But, um, you know, there, there's these little mistakes that, you know, amount to bigger things, too. So you have to kind of um, try to apologize if you can when things like that happen. And if they do happen, then you get the just reward of um, doing the right thing, you know. Um, so, anyway, I will see you in the next reading. Take care of yourselves, take care of everyone, and I will see you in the next reading, alright? Enjoy. Bye.